Hello, my name is Hassam Shabani, graduated at Science and Research Branch Islamic Azad University. Other authors of this paper are Arman Ruhi, Akram Reza, Professor Media Reshadi, Professor Nader Bagarzadeh, and Professor Runa Adimara. It's our pleasure to offer you our article in which we are studied lots of very sweet design and non blocking detection algorithm in photonic interconnection networks. As you know, recently the increase in the demand for systems which can perform complex computations has led processor manufacturers to move towards increasing the number of cores on a single chip. Thus, chip multiprocessors CMPs have been proposed. On the other hand, continued increases toward multi-core and many-core scalability have led to interconnection challenges due to wiring, power, and bandwidth limitations. Previous studies have shown that up to half of the dynamic power dissipation can be associated with interconnection in high-performance processors. Photonic interconnection network are proposed as an attractive solution to address the mention issues. This kind of interconnection networks are compatible with CMOS, they provide high bandwidth density by leveraging wavelength division multiplexing, low latency in optical transmission, the propagation delay at the speed of light, and low power consumption is practically distance independent. The important parameters in optical networks are signal to noise ratio, SNR, photonic power, and insertion loss. We focus on the insertion loss reduction approach. As you know, signal regeneration is one of the challenges in photonic interconnection networks. So we should pay attention to the insertion loss of photonic signals to guarantee signal integrity increases network scalability and increases the communication bandwidth. There are two approaches proposed for reducing insertion loss. First one is designing new topologies and the second one is redesign the switch component to decrease the number of waveguide crossing which is used in our paper. Photonic switches are one of the most important components of photonic networks which affect performance of the whole system. Effective elements on switch design are type of PSE, cross or parallel, 1 times 2 PSE or 2 times 2 PSE, Number of waveguide crossing, number of on-state PSE, both are important on a straight path when dimension or the routing algorithm is used and non-blocking feature. In our paper, we propose developed a non-blocking photonic switch helix edge, as you can see in the top right. Helix edge does not require any on-state PSEs for turning on optical signal path when signals pass for a straight path. Herein, you can see behavior of all other presented switches when a photonic signal signal passes from west to east. The brief comparison between helix edge and dimension switches in terms of their functionalities is summarized in table 1. In the next few slides, we analyze behavior of our switch in various topologies to evaluate network performance. All the results are obtained by Phoenix Simulator developed by Columbia University. These figures show results of all mentioned switches including helix edge in some various topologies under a synthetic traffic pattern. For instance, by using helix edge, the bandwidth is increased almost 100% in comparison with the previous highest performing design. Moreover, by applying real scientific applications which are appropriate for the CFP's assessment in the real world, Helix Edge offers significant performance improvements up through the application level. For example, execution time is improved by up to 92%. Table 8 in the paper summarizes a complete comparison result. Another contribution of this work is generalizing a novel graph theoretic method for detection of blocking conditions in photonic switches. This methodology is applicable to all compared photonic switches to support its generalization. As you can see, it has three steps which are discussed in details in the paper. First, we convert the switch into completely directed graph and then this obtained graph is converted into the unweighted directed graph based on the 4 and 5 equation. And finally, a step 3 is applied which determines the examine switch has block condition or doesn't. This approach can be utilized to detect blocking in all photonic switches with any number of ports. Here is an example of the three-step approach which shows the step and the non-empty subset and one means blocking the keys. However, by applying the 3-step approach on helix edge, we can see subset N1 is empty, so it's a non-blocking switch. You can see subset N1 to N4. Here is the conclusion. As I mentioned previously, our contribution is divided into two parts. First part is designing helix edge with the specific aim of reducing the insertion loss. Reduces the number of wavelength crossings. Not require any analysis PSEs for turning on optical signals path when signals pass for a straight path. Reducing the total insertion loss of a network results in improvement for the photonic network performance, delay, network bandwidth, and etc. And second part is non-blocking detection algorithm for photonic switches based on a graph 
theoretic formulation. Applicable to all photonic switches with any number of four, no need to analyze the operation complexity of the switch in different paths due to properties of unweighted diagrams. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed the article. Please contact us if you have any questions or feedback.